All right, so I've been making storyboards for a number of years now, especially on that tablet thing right there where you actually have to like plug it in and draw stuff. I've been making storyboards for so long that I needed a new way to make storyboards that wasn't as time consuming or annoying and was much more helpful. That being said, I bought an iPad and I found an app that instead of paying for Procreate, it's free and it also links with my computer called Freeform. On my homepage right here, as you can see, Freeform is there. First thing I do, instead of like making a square with this square toolbox here, I actually just draw mine out because I like to have like a natural look to mine. Press the pen tool, go over here, press pen or crayon in this case, and then just draw your box. There we go. Good enough to me. It doesn't have to be good. It doesn't have to be extensive or crazy fancy. It just needs to be a box that you can draw in. So now I want to take this box, copy it, and make like a full sheet of storyboard so I can come back and just fill them in. So what I would do is press this once again up here, choose the lasso, circle it, and then copy or duplicate. In this case, I want to duplicate, drag, that's good. Zoom out, two finger pinch. Or I want to select just this one. Duplicate, click and drag. And now I want to select them all, duplicate them. Click and drag them down. Do we get them one more time? Click and drag them down. And I'm actually gonna space this one out a little bit more. Now I have nine storyboards. I do that per section. So nine storyboards here. And then if I want to, I can copy all of these, duplicate them one more time and drag them over here. So I, I can have like scene one here, scene two there and, and so on and so forth. You can keep copying them for as much as you need. In my case though, I'm going back to the pen tool by clicking this thing and I'm gonna choose the pen. And then I'm going to do two things. One, write the title section. Title, right. Uh, if you wanna type it out nicely, you can always go up here to the type box tool. You can expand that to make it bigger, drag it where you want, double tap, and you can type whatever you want as a storyboard template. You know, replace that if you wanted to and drag it on top. So back to my pen tool, I'm up here. I'm going to just sketch in something. So in this case, let's sketch in where I'm at right now, right? This is the shot that I'm going to show. So here I am, me, really should have be drawn. Uh, this, is, this is me in the center of the frame. I got my chair behind me, right? Screen back here, and my desk is back here against the wall. This is bad, it's okay. But the point I'm making is like, okay, so now I've sketched out my storyboard. What I wanna do is go back to the pen tool up here and choose this one that looks like paint. I'm going to make mine black. Click it again, maybe 40, 50% transparency, just drag the slider down or up. And this is the tool that I find to be most helpful. So if you think about your storyboard, right, you wanna show, because this is not very good at showing perspective, I wanna show what's in front, what's in the back, what's the lighting looking like, what's the situation in the room like. So for me, I'm gonna leave me in the foreground. Behind me though, in this background, I'm going to trace this area out. And as you can see, that line is like tracing itself. And I keep tracing the area out and let me trace it up one more time to emphasize the color difference there. And now I have different shades and tones of color that exemplify what the area is like, the background, the foreground, and you don't have to do a good job at it. You just have to do something that shows enough of separation of the background. And as you can tell, in this area right here, you have all the bright highlights and the, the less shadowy area. But back here, you know, you can tell that's farther, it's darker on the frame. It just does a good job at showing off depth without having to be actually good at drawing because I suck. After this, after the storyboard, I would go ahead, grab my pen tool again, and then write out a couple things. One is it internal, external. In this case, it's internal. So I N T dot living room. And then what type of shot is it? It's locked off on a tripod in this case. So we're going to say locked off, locked off. And is it wide, narrow, whatever. Now it's a wider shot. So let's call it a wide shot, uh, dash W. Now below that, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to just write in what I want on my storyboard, like what's happening in the scene. So I'm talking, telling about in free form. So now a simple synopsis of the shot of that scene. If I don't like something, I can go in here and I can erase it as any other software might expect to be done. So with that, I understand that obviously this is not exactly the world's best storyboarding application, but I will say that it is a good alternative for one, it being free, and two, you can link it with like your iMac or your phone or whatever app you can get. You can get the app on multiple Apple devices, so therefore it's handy at least in that way. Definitely worth looking into. It's definitely worth trying. If you have an iPad, if you don't have an iPad, then obviously you can't 
use it the way I just did, but that's okay. You can still use Photoshop or whatever else you have. If you have like a tablet, like I also have or whatever. But the uh, convenience is I have one pen and the thing. This has a bunch of cords. And Ward, I'm not a fan of a bunch of cords. All right, cool. If you found it helpful, awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been a while. I have some more stuff coming soon.